Okay, scholars, thanks for tuning in. I want to go over the concept of field with you. So, in the lab that we did at the different stations, we saw lots of examples where a charged object could attract other objects to it or repel objects away from it, even though they're not touching from a distance. When we have force from a distance, we call that a field. What are some examples of fields that can occur in nature? As you saw in the lab, we have electric fields. As we studied a couple of months ago, we have gravitational fields. There are also magnetic fields that we'll investigate in a couple of weeks. These are the three main types of fields. Because we can't see these fields, we use field lines to illustrate them. Field lines show the direction of force on a positive test charge. The closer the lines, the stronger the field. So here we have a positively charged object. You can think of it as a positively charged balloon or a positively charged Van der Graaff generator or just about any object you want. If we bring a positively charged test object up to it, it's going to experience a force away. It's going to be repelling because they're both the same charge, positive. If we put, oh, so because of this, all these electric field lines are pointing out. No matter where we put this positive test charge, it's always going to be experiencing an outward force. If we have a negatively charged object and we bring a positive test charge into the area surrounding it, it's going to feel an inward force of attraction. So we say that all these field lines are going to be pointing inward. If we have two charged objects, a positive and a negative, things get a little bit more interesting. This positive test charge in the middle is going to be attracted um, toward the negative on the right side and repelled by the positive on the left. So the field line between these is going to point from the positive to the negative. We can put a positive test charge in, at, any number one, at any number of positions and we can analyze what force does it feel. And here I've drawn in force vectors for all these different locations. When it's close to this positive, it's going to feel a strong force away. And as it gets farther away, it starts to be, reach a balance point where it's equally um, repelled away from the positive as it is attracted toward the negative. As it gets closer to the negative, it feels a growing, increasing force toward the negative. So we can say the field line is going to follow this path along here. So by symmetry, we can see that if we put these positive test charges anywhere in this field, it's always going to be repelled away from the positive and toward the negative charge. So we end up getting a distribution, an electric field that looks like this. The key point here is the test charges will move along the field lines when they're no longer held in place. If we were holding onto this positive test charge, restricting it from moving, if we finally let go of it, it's going to follow this path away from the positive and toward the negative. It's going to follow the field line. And going back to this earlier slide, we mentioned here I want to draw attention to this statement. The closer the lines, the stronger the field. When this positive test charge is closer, it feels a stronger force. When it gets farther away, it feels a weaker force similar to how it was with gravity. Okay, I'd like you to take a look at the next video where I'm going to introduce the lab using the computers.